Hi folks. Well, I erected a, uh, another thousand watts worth of panels. And I wanted to show everybody what I used. I had this old um, 10 foot aluminum mesh style satellite dish. <clears throat> and that's all I used. I didn't remove the dish. I just mounted it in between the uh, brace arms that holds the nose cone. And I'm going to leave it just like that. It worked out really, really good for these new panels that are six foot three inch, I believe they are. Now I made a frame up for the panels themselves to get them all close together. And it's basically just a, it's a cap that caps the panels and it's all bolted together. And then to give it extra strength, I uh, bolted it down to a one by two inch galvanized, it's one eighth of an inch thick to give it some real good strength. And I'll take everybody to the back side of it. We got it all hooked up, all wired together here. When I got these panels, they never came with caps. So I'm going to have to put some kind of cap on here to keep the moisture out. So for the time being, I just put this uh, kind of oily stuff on here. I'm pretty sure it's not really rustable metal there anyhow. But just in case, I gave it a little squirt of some rust preventive oil so yeah here's all the wires and whatnot hooked up it looks pretty foreign from back here I got holes ripped in the screen here to get the wires coming through and you can see it back here another hole here ripped through the screen I got all the uh, wires here braced on with some stainless steel straps there and and here and and then I came over here and I got them all hooked up together with the MC4 connectors. Just put a big old wad of tape on there just to, you know, every piece of moisture you can keep away from it, it's a good thing. So whenever anybody's doing anything like this, you want to make sure everything is moisture free and moisture cannot get in. That's the best way to keep corrosion away. So with these old satellite dishes, this one here, I need to do some adjusting to it yet. I need to get it up this way so it faces the sun. And it's real simple. It's already on here. I don't have to do anything. I already started here at one point. I loosened up the one adjustment. And now I'm going to go on the top side and tighten that down and pull it down. And by pulling this down, that makes the solar panels go up. And that's what I want, into the sunshine. And also, to turn it into the sun, the uh, the bolts here that tighten up, fasten it up against the pole nice and tight need to be re released so the whole thing can, can swing on the pole. This way you can, it can be moved into the sun or out of the sun, either way. This is a manual, nothing motorized with it. Now I do have a arm on here as a power arm. I may incorporate that to actually allow it to do the turning. I'm just not too sure yet. It's not really all that complicated just to physically move it like this. You know, in the sun and move it towards the sun in the afternoon as it's moving. It's a real simple setup, very cost effective. If someone has one of these dishes in their backyard and it's no longer of any, any good or not in use, turn it into a solar panel holder. not really up very much in the sunshine. I need to actually lift it up about another foot. So the bottom edge will come up another foot roughly. Maybe foot and a half. In around there somewhere. Okay folks well thank you for watching and uh, good luck with your solar installs. Subscribe if you have not and thank you very much for those that have.